What is up guys? My name is Jason. I've been a nurse for nine years and Monica's been a nurse for eight years. We currently work at Kaiser Permanente where I earn $96 an hour as a staff nurse and Monica earns $118 as a per diem nurse. I've spent the last year creating the ultimate spreadsheet of data collected from union contracts of the highest paying hospitals and universities in California. In this video, I'm going to do you guys a solid. I'm going to show you guys how it's possible for nurses in California to earn up to $311,719 per year with no overtime involved. So if this topic interests you and you want to be the highest paid nurse in all of California, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel and let's move on to the video. All right, let me show you how to access the spreadsheet by going to our website. From the homepage, you're going to want to click on the shop link from the navigator. We currently have three spreadsheets, with the first one being the one I'm going to be discussing in this video today. So go ahead and click on the first spreadsheet on this page. On this page, I provide a description of what this spreadsheet does. And if you're interested in purchasing it, you can either buy it now or add it to your cart. There's also a video included in the product page that shows you how to use this spreadsheet. And the best part about the spreadsheet is that you can access it through Google Sheets on your mobile device, on your desktop, or on a laptop. Now it's time to show you which are the highest paying hospitals in all of California. In this spreadsheet, you're going to be able to filter your salary by hourly, weekly, and yearly rate. As you can see here, we currently have the hourly rate selected, but you have three other options. In addition to your hourly rate, you can also view your weekly or your yearly rate. You can then also filter your results by hours worked per week. On the years of experience drop down list, you'll see that it ranges anywhere from zero, which is a new grad position, all the way up to 30 years of experience. Then here we have the type of position you might be interested in working in. For example, we have here a base benefited position. We also have evening shift, night shift, weekend, weekend evenings, weekend nights, per diem days, per diem evenings, and per diem nights. So let me give you an example of what an hourly rate would look like based on five years of experience. First, you have to make sure you select your hourly rate. Your hours worked per week needs to remain blank. So if you have a number selected here, you're not going to get any data because you are only interested in an hourly rate. You do not want to include the hours worked per week. So you click on this box here and you just delete it. Double click and delete it. Press enter and now your hourly rates are going to repopulate. Let's select somebody with five years of experience and you'll quickly be able to see your hourly rate with five years of experience in any one of these hospitals in California. Some of these hospitals listed here like UC Berkeley is actually tied to the university. So you would be a nurse working for the university as opposed to a hospital because some of the universities in California do not have a hospital tied to them. So as you can see here, the highest paying hospital for a nurse that's benefited with five years of experience is going to get paid $92 Per hour at UCSF. The second highest pain is going to be El Camino with $90 per hour and the third highest pain is going to be Kaiser North at $84 per hour. Now let's say a nurse like myself working the evening shift with five years of experience, my hourly rate at Kaiser Permanente is going to be $92 per hour. However, if any of you have been watching my previous videos, you would know that I am an RN3. That means that I make 5% more than an RN2, which is the RN position that's listed in this spreadsheet. Now let's take a look at an example of what Monica's pay would look like. Monica is a per diem nurse and she is listed as a step five. Even though she has eight years of experience, when we came into Kaiser, they only gave us credit for one year of experience for every two years of experience we had. So as a step five or five years of experience within the Kaiser system, Monica as a per diem night shift nurse would be earning $118 per hour at Kaiser Permanente. However, if Monica were a nurse in El Camino, she would be earning $134 per hour. Now let's see what this looks like when you input the number of hours you're looking to work. Let's say Monica chooses to work 36 hours per week. How much would Monica
Monica earn if she did such a thing? Well, if you select 36, remember you have to change the rate to weekly or yearly in order to find out what your pay would be based on the number of hours you choose to work per week. So on a weekly basis at Kaiser Permanente, Monica would be earning $4,252 per week if she worked 36 hours a week as a per diem nurse working the night shift. And if you want to know what her yearly income would look like, then you just go to the drop down list and select rate per year. In this scenario, Monica would be earning $221,093 per year. And as you can see here, once again, El Camino would be the highest paying hospital on the list, followed by UCSF and Stanford. But let's see what happens when you max out on the number of years of experience as well as being a night shift per diem nurse. There you have it guys. If you are a nurse at El Camino, you would be earning $311,719 per year working 40 hours a week as a per diem shift nurse with 30 years of experience. This does not include any overtime whatsoever. And here you can see that UCSF and Stanford are virtually tied in this list. But let's see what happens if you're a benefited nurse working the night shift with 30 years of experience. Take a look at this. If you are a nurse working 40 hours a week with 30 years of experience on the night shift, you can earn over $225,000 at Kaiser Permanente. And if you are working at El Camino or UCSF, you are easily earning a quarter of a million dollars per year without working overtime. By now, you probably have an idea which hospital you want to work in, but your pay should not be the only motivating factor because at the end of the day, the cost of living and the crime rate in the area also matter. That is why you should watch our video of the highest paying cities for nurses in all of California with cost of living and crime taken into account.